welcome back to mTurk Guide. Today I'm going to quickly go over mTurk Suite installation. For those that don't use Chrome regularly or do not use extensions within Chrome regularly, you're going to want to uh, watch this video so that you're aware of how to do this because I um, am recommending uh, that people try to leverage mTurk Suite, the Chrome extension, uh, if possible, while we work through this transition um, with the new worker website. So what is it? It's a Chrome extension and it's different than the Tamper Monkey scripts that you might be accustomed to. Um, you do need to be using Chrome. And I know a lot of people are familiar with extensions that improve, that help improve their browser experience. Um, but for those that are really love Firefox and, and don't want to switch in the long term, my understanding is that mTurk Suite is planning on coming to Firefox in the future. So even if you went to Chrome for the short term just to get over this um, period of change, we'll call it, with, with the worker website, um, it, it might be a good thing to consider. Um, for me, I, I like mTurk Suite because it's the best functionality from numerous scripts um, that we had in the old website, and it's in one installation. I don't have to worry about scripts being updated, enabled, conflicting with one another, none of it. I don't have to worry about it. Um, in general, I've been using mTurk Suite for about three months now, I want to say, and the performance has been very consistent. It's it's behaved as expected, and I you know I used to be a software engineer, so I tend to hammer um, these type of applications and websites and things like that. I'm like the worst user ever because I always break things, um, and I've been really happy with the performance of it, um, as well as the fact that the developer and author really keeps it up to date. And um, in if you do provide feedback, it's it's really a great quick, great turnaround, um, either on an answer or an update. Um, the best part of mTurk Suite in my mind is the pick, picking and choosing of functionality uh, just via click boxes. So, you know, you don't have to have everything. You can just have the few things that you really liked um, that you had in the old system, or you can try new things. It's really customizable to your experience. So for all those reasons, you should consider it. Um, if you have Chrome and you use Chrome, definitely download it um, and take a peek at it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm doing this quick video, which is just gonna be strict installation. After that, I'm gonna do another video on some of my more favorite pieces of, of mTurk Suite. And then I'll go over um, sort of the, from a whole standpoint, how to use it, um, how to use it most efficiently to help you get through some of these changes that are happening with the worker website. Okay, so if you want to install mTurk Suite, you're going to go into Chrome and you navigate to the Chrome Web Store, which the URL will be in the description of this video. You click Add to Chrome button, the blue button right there, and a pop-up is going to appear and it's going to ask you to add the extension. So you go ahead and you add the extension by clicking on the button. And then you're going to want to ensure the extension is enabled um, by navigating to the Chrome menu, which will be three vertical dots up in the right hand corner. You click that um, and then you go to more tools and then extensions. And then once you get into the extensions, you'll find all of the extensions in alpha order. Scroll down to mTurk Suite and you'll see a checkbox that says enabled. And if it's enabled, the check will be there. If it's not, you need to check it. It'll look just like this. Okay, familiar yourself or familiarize yourself with the mTurk Suite icon, which is this square with MTS in, I think that's orange, yellow, depending on, depending on um, how your, uh, the, what your screen looks like. It looks kind of orangey yellow to me. Um, you want to familiarize yourself with that icon because you, the way this works, you are going to be periodically having to go up into your toolbar and clicking on that icon. So with that being said, it is important that you have that icon in a place that's readily accessible to you. So having it buried in some sort of menu or something is not not your best bet. Generally, you can write, usually when you install it, it pops right up on your toolbar. But if you have sort of, if you've customized what's on your toolbar, you might have to find it, right click, and then um, kind of dock it up into your toolbar. If people are struggling with that, please let me know. I can, I can definitely do a video on it. But um, if you do find yourself in the need to disable it, all you have to do is go back into the Chrome menu like I just discussed through the extension, the more tools extensions, and then you just hit the check box next to enabled. If there's no check in that box, it's disabled. Um, if you, and then you, if you were to go back into mTurk from there, you just need to refresh your browser. Um, if you wanted to delete it for some reason, which you could, however, if you do, you lose 
you lose any data you've saved in there, not not MTurk data, but if you have like a block list or something of requesters you don't want to see their hits, that type of stuff will get deleted unless you save it. So think, just think before you delete. Disabling is much better. It leaves you a lot more options. But if you do need to delete it for some reason, you just go back again through the more tools extensions. You get back to MTurk suite line item and you hit the little garbage can to the right and the extension will no longer exist in your browser. And at that point, if you do need to put it back uh, onto your, uh, if you want to put it back, you can just go through the process of installing it again. And that's, that's the basics of installation. I know this is a quick video and it's really just meant for somebody who's not familiar with, with the Chrome extensions. Um, so I'm going to be doing a bunch of smaller, shorter videos. It's partly me trying to find time to do this in the middle of updating all the other videos that I have out there. And um, hopefully where everybody's learning to talk on this new system and everybody's busy, I want to make sure that everybody um, can find what they're looking for. So it, instead of doing longer videos, I really just need to cut it down into, into more um, bite-sized pieces for everybody. More are coming, um, again, shorter ones, um, the M Turk Suite uh, tools and navigation, some of the features, and then just general site nav, um, some quick tips, uh, learning along the way, and then some of the noted issues. But some of the uh, issues are moving pretty fast as both M Turk itself and um, developers on uh, scripts and extensions are are finding ways to kind of overcome those or, or MTurk is changing them. So that's good news, but it happens pretty fast. So sometimes I get a whole bunch of issues and then I go back and I can't replicate them. Um, so I'm kind of holding that one aside. But if you have issues that you've come across, you should let me know about them and I can try to recreate them in my system um, as well or um, try to help you find a workaround. So as always, always, please subscribe and comment. Let me know what you need for videos. I already have a few in queue that were asked about from my previous video. Um, so I'm getting those out. Uh, things like how to get the um, earnings to show on your dashboard. Um, today, it sounds like Hitscraper went kaput. Um, for why reasons, I don't know, but um, I'll help you find a replacement for that. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe, and let me know how I can help you. Thanks so much, everybody. Happy turkey.